up Mimi here so um, today I'm just gonna be doing kind of a summary bronzy like get ready with me type video we're just gonna chat I'm just gonna talk about like what I'm using and what I'm doing and things like that so hope you like it okay so now I'm gonna use my the my morphe 350 matte palette um, I really love this palette uh, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on Morphe products. Um, I like them. So, I love their shadows, but I love this. Look how beautiful this is. It's perfect for summer, and I like it. So many beautiful orange shades in here. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a fluffy bl blending brush this is a no name something that I got off of Amazon came in a set also $12.99 but they're really really good they're really soft this is, I love this brush this is a very good blending brush I'm just gonna go in with let me see if I can show you with this shade here as my transition shade Transition shades are good for um, blending out your other your other colors. Okay. So pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a Morphe uh, M330 brush. It's a darker orange color. Love these colors for summer. I love orange. Okay, now I'm gonna take uh, my Morphe MB13 brush and I'm going to pick up like a chocolatey brown shade for definition in the eyes and put that in my crease. This helps to make it add some definition to the eye and makes it smoky and I like it. If you're looking to um, expand your your brush collection or if you're looking to just like for some good starter brushes you're 
just kind of building your kit and you're starting out. Um, I suggest signing up for the Morphe um, Brush Club. It's $21 and some change every month and you get three to six brushes depending on the collection they're sending from. Um, and I mean, my collection has grown so much and I've been a part of it, I think, three or four months now and I have so many more brushes. Um, I highly, it's very affordable and so I highly suggest it. Um, not all of their brushes are spectacular. I will admit that the, um, some of their like white bristles brushes tend to be a little bit scratchy, but, um, I do like everything that has, I've had like with the black bristles, love, so good. It's like a flush tone color. I'm just going to pack it on. This is a Morphe M33 brush. It's awesome. I love this brush. Okay, so that um, nude shade is going to act as a base because I'm going to go in with some glitter on the lid. This is the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Ice. I believe Ice. Yes, Ice. So I just pour a little bit of that into the lid. Okay. And you can use, they make glitter glues. NYX makes a really good one. I don't have a glitter glue though, so I'm just gonna use Ardell Lash Glue. It works pretty good, you just kinda have to be careful with it. You don't want it to be too sticky. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take a brush like this, like a little, little flat brush, and just apply a very thin layer on my lid. Okay, I'm gonna take that same brush and just dip it into my glitter. And I'm just gonna pat that on, starting in the middle where I want the most payout. And just pack it on. This glitter, it's my favorite. Mm. Love. I don't know if you can really see how pretty that is. Okay. 
or just a little bit more of my wool cap. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, sorry if the angle and lighting is a little bit different now. I, my, I'm doing this on my phone and it freaking died on me, so I had to kind of move things around a little bit. So, okay, so once the glitter is applied, um, you're gonna get glitter all over your freaking face. So um, you can just take like brush like this and just like wipe it away and as you when you put your foundation on too it'll just kind of clean it up for you I'm gonna start like at the corner like where the bottom lash line meets the top lash line that's where I start my wing and I just kind of like etch it out at first so I kind of hold my brushes in an angle like as you can see and I just draw a line out towards my brow like that and then I start I go into the inner corner and just start etching it out. I'm not gonna make this wing too thick. At least I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to make it too thick because we all know how wing liner goes. I'm just gonna do like a little thin baby wing. Freaking six freaking inch thick wing looking like Amy Winehouse. That's how it always starts. That's how it starts. I'm like, well I guess I'm rocking this today. See? It's gonna be a thick dramatic wing. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> oh man. The struggle is real, my friends. Wing liners just take practice, honestly. And even, like, I've even heard, like, Crispy, a pro, say that even she has days where she's just like, oh. Now I'm just filling it in. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna start right there. I'm gonna F it up. I'm not gonna do anything else to it because I'm just gonna fuck it up and I'm gonna get pissed. Okay. So now that I've got liner done, I'm gonna apply my lashes. Taking that same Ardell lash grip for um, strip lashes is what I'm using. Just put a little bit on the back of my hand and just grab my lash. I'm using Ardell Wispies. They're my favorite lash. If you are a beginner at lashes, I suggest investing in some Ardell Wispies because they're um, inexpensive and they have a um, clear, very thin lash band, which makes, which makes it easy to apply and to kind of work with. So if you're new at, at lashes, I suggest getting some Ardell Wispies because they are really good lashes. And you can get a lot of wears out of them if you take care of them properly. So, okay, so I just take the little, this little part, oh, bubble, this little part, and um, that's how I apply my glue. So I just do like my lash, and I just start applying very thin layer, just a little bit. You don't want to get too crazy with it. You only need a little. A little seriously goes a long way. This glue will last you a long time. Okay, 
messy and then you just let it get tacky. I have to blow on mine. If you don't let it get tacky, like you don't let it sit, you just apply it straight to your eye, um, it's not going to stick. It's going to like slip around and it's just going to make you frustrated and it's not going to stick. So make sure you let it get tacky first and then you can apply it. Okay, so you just go in, start at the center first, and then you can apply your edges. Okay, and then I just use tweezers. Just find that's the easiest for me. You can look down into a mirror. and then I'll apply mascara after. Some people like to curl their lashes first or apply mascara before they apply their lashes. I don't personally like to do that because I have it makes it harder for me to apply my lash um, and to see like my lash line if my um, lashes have mascara on them already. I find that I can't, I have a really hard time applying lashes. So I don't, I wait until I uh, apply the lash with the let the glue sit and dry for a minute and then I'll apply mascara. I do that after. But it's just personal preference. It's just like whatever works for you. Like I said, makeup just takes practice. So it just takes a, a while. It takes not a while, but it just takes practice and like doing it, you know, frequently to figure out like what works for you and what your preferences and then, like, are. I'll just take a little like the end of my makeup brush and just kind of push them up. So that they tend to stick up, so like sit up. It helps to make the eyes look more open. Okay, now I'm just gonna apply mascara. This is actually Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. It's not bad. Um, I also like to use um, Maybelline. Just Maybelline Great Lash, like old school oldie but a goodie. I really like that one. Um, higher end, uh, I would suggest using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I like that one. Um, I've used the Benefit They're Real. I didn't, honestly, I really didn't like that one. A lot of people like it. It works for a lot of people. I personally didn't really like it. But I know a lot of people do love it, so... I'm just applying the mascara to like my actual lashes just like at the base I don't want to put mascara on my falsies um, because it's going to compromise the shape of them and I don't want that I just want to blend my natural lashes into my falsies okay so now I'm going to apply uh, foundation I'll finish my under eye after I do the rest of my face because I'm going to highlight and all that stuff under my eyes. So I'm going to be using the uh, Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the shade Light 48. Um, this stuff is bomb. If you um, are oily and you want some matte foundation that is going to last all day, Kat Von D Locket. Um, another really good one, um, if you don't want to spend the money on the Kat Von D, um, is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I also have that one, and that one's also a really good one. It's a really good um, pharmacy brand. You don't want to use the... So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. One pump is all I need because a little goes a long way. Um, I'm going to be using... Where are you? A foundation brush by Morphe, the M439. You've probably heard of it. It's very popular um, because it's a very bomb brush. It is very, it's round and dense and amazing. Okay, so I just dip my brush into it. Start. 
putting it on my face. I blot it onto my face and then I go in and I start blending it out. Meow. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, highlight. I'm going to be using um, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Um, there's no shade on this, actually. It's the lightest shade that they have in this. Um, you want to use um, three, at least three shades lighter than your than your skin tone to highlight. Otherwise, you're just not do, you're not really doing anything. It's meant you want it to be light because you're highlighting. Okay, so I'm just going to. I'm a little sloppy with this. It's gonna get blended out anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. Okay, just take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna set that again with the Anastasia banana powder from the contour kit if I can find my brush okay I'm using a an elf small tapered brush bomb holy grail get it I think it was like three bucks or something if you have issues with creasing under the eye you need to set that shit like immediately stat because if you don't, you will have issues. Okay. So now, um, I'm gonna, I don't usually bake, but I'm going to for the sake of this video because I know I have um, people who are wanting to see that. So I'm just gonna be using translucent powder. It's what you normally use. Um, it's, I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I got this at Target. I believe it was like $6. Maybe it was $8. It's really inexpensive and it works really, really good. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this into the cap. Take my damp beauty blender. And dip it into the powder. And I'm just going to apply it under the eyes. Um, I actually have a really bad issue with um, creasing under the eye. And I have found that baking really helps with the creasing. So you're basically just putting the translucent powder you're baking where you um, highlighted. So I'm going to bake on my chin because I touch my chin a lot, like I said, you know, I don't want that to come off. And a little bit on my forehead. Okay, and that's, that's it. So now we're gonna let that sit while we contour. Pour that back in there, put that away. Okay. So I'm going to go back in with my contour kit from Anastasia. I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this contour brush by also by Elf. This brush is bomb. And again, I believe this was 3 bucks. Maybe it was 6. I don't know. I'll look it up for you, but it's bomb. So I'm just going to take it and dip it into this middle one here. Okay, so then you just take the brush and you, oh, let me get ready. Okay, so you're just going to take this brush at like an angle and you're going to start like at the top of your ear, right, like right here and just bring this down and extend the line, kind of stop 
I like to stop like right at the corner of my of my eye and that's like as far down as I okay. want to bring this okay and then you just want to kind of you want to put bronzer up here because you want to balance out the face you don't have to put bronzer on your forehead if you have a smaller forehead if you feel like you don't want to look too closed off um but if you have a large forehead and you're feeling self-conscious about it which girl you shouldn't but if you do um con putting bronzer on your forehead will kind of help it to look to appear smaller okay and put, put a little bit on my chin because i got that double chin going on girl and i'm trying to hide that shit. so i'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer i like i like bronzer i like to look bronzed like a little bronze goddess I'm going to be using my 9BZ Beze, uh, bronze palette, bronzer palette from Morphe. Um, I really like this palette. Um, it's very pigmented, um, has a lot of colors, a lot of range of colors in there, so it's good for your kit if you're a makeup artist or if you just like bronzers like me. Um, I'm just going to go in with a brush like this, no name brush. I got this on Wish. In like a in a little set wish is good if you're looking for brushes honestly because it may be coming from China that's okay because they are cheap and they are good especially if you don't if you're just starting out in makeup and you don't really have a lot of money to spend or you don't want to spend a lot of money um, you can find a lot of good stuff on wish I've had these for a very long time and I they're really soft still and I love them so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that bronzer And just blend upwards yes okay, so now I'm going to wipe away the bakage just gonna take a brush like this this is a morphe m438 brush you can use any brush that you want really I'm just going to wipe all of that away and this will give you like a really airbrushed look airbrushed finish very clean and if, like I said, if you have an issue with creasing, this will really help it out a lot. Okay, so um, I'm going to go in with, um, let me see here. Where is my, okay, I'm going to use um, this big fluffy brush here. This is just an, uh, this is by Ulta. It's an Ulta Professional, just a big, large powder brush. I use it for blush. And I'm just going to take, um this pretty shade right here I forget what that's called I'll look it up for you and I'm just gonna smile and apply that to my cheeks okay and now I'm going to take um, a fan brush like this and I'm going to apply uh... actually no I'm not gonna do that yet <laughs> I lied. I'm going to take this brush here. This is a Morphe M501 brush. And I'm going to take Prosecco Pop and smile and apply it to the apples of my of my cheeks. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that fan brush and pick up Champagne Pop. And, and then next put it on the tops of my cheekbones so I'm not really gonna bake you can bake here um if your contour you don't feel like it's sharp enough you can also bake there I'm not going to because I used that bomb elf brush and it actually came out the way that I want it to so I'm not gonna change it in or alter it in any way okay so now that that's done, I'm gonna finish my under eye area This brush here, this is a Morphe, this brush, this is a Morphe M169 to kind of like blend that out. Smudge that out.
apply. And I'm going to apply lips. I am going to go stick with this orange theme. I'm going to be using NYX Liquid Suede in the color Orange County. I love this so much. I have their um, their purple one. The, uh, the It's called Sway. It's like a lavender color, but it's also bright. So it's like a neon lavender somehow. But it's so pretty, and I, I actually love them. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips. <gasps> so pretty. <sighs> Guys. This is such a fun color, especially for summer. But, like, you could rock this anytime. Seriously, you totally could. Halloween? Hello? I actually used this on my, um, on my eyes as to do a wing liner because I've seen a lot of people doing wing liners with um, liquid lipsticks for like fun, cool colors or whatever. Um, so I wanted to try it. So I thought this would be cool. No, it wasn't cool, okay. It wasn't cool because um, it stained my um, lash line and it was on my eyes for three days and um, it made my eyes itchy, especially like, this eye itchy. It was itchy for like a whole day and it was like really irritated. So don't do that, okay? I probably should have looked up to see if it was safe for the eyes first, but I didn't. I just went for it, and um, yeah, don't do that. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to take um, Laura Geller uh, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Gilded Honey. This is so pretty. I'm gonna take it, and I'm going to actually apply it to my lips. Done, fluff up the hair. All right, and this is the look. All right, so I hope you guys liked this video. It was my first video ever. Um, it was really fun. I can't wait to do another one already. Um, I hope you liked this. I um, hope you learned something cool. Sound like Samantha, huh? Oh my God, I love her. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the, in the comments. Um, if you have any constructive criticism, I'm open to it. Just don't be a dickhead because um, I'll delete you. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys like this video and um, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.